Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Drunken Hubby. Uh, this weekend I'm doing it Saturday because tomorrow I uh, observe Yom Kippur, also known as the Day of Atonement, uh, which there will be a 24 hour fast. No food, no water, no drink, anything like that. Um, so I'm going to do it today, this week, instead of Sunday like I normally do. And with that out the way, I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and select the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button so the YouTube algorithms know that you want to see more of me. All right, so this week I found a treat. This was on sale for about 10 bucks at the local ABC store. It's a St. Brendan's Irish Cream made in Ireland. <clears throat> It says Irish cream liqueur, which means it's going to be sweet and not like other liquors. And at 17% alcohol by volume, that's still about uh, 30 or 40 proof almost. So it's still going to have a bite to it. So let's crack this open. I really like the shiny opaque bottle. It looks almost like a semi-precious stone. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. Y'all want to smell? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pour a little bit in my glass. If y'all hear any little squeaking in the background, Daisy gave birth last night. Four fur babies. Yay! Um, I will share with y'all soon, you know, pictures and videos of them when I can. I'm gonna let Daisy get you know custom to her babies and feed them and stuff like that. So off the bat it looks almost like a light colored chocolate milk. The nose is pretty good. It's nice and sweet but you can still smell the alcohol which by the way the alcohol in this is Irish whiskey which I haven't had by itself before so I can't give you a base note on it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's a little thick, which I like. It's really sweet and heavy on the cream. The whiskey doesn't burn. It's really smooth. Oh, wow. I could drink a lot of that. I love that. That's so good. It's so smooth. It's so sweet. I wonder what it tastes like. Has this have a float made with this and some ice cream? We'll put this in some coffee. Oh wow, yeah, that would be really good. I bet. I might try that next week. Coffee with Irish cream in it. Real Irish cream, not that coffee creamer stuff. Oh yeah, but um, as far as Daisy's puppies are concerned, unfortunately I will not be able to um, to keep them all, and I will be when it, when it's time to wean them anyway. I will be looking for good homes for them to go to. Um, so if any of my viewers out there um, know somebody or maybe yourself might want a cute little puppy. Um, find a way to direct message me and we could uh, set something up when it when it's time for them to uh, be separated from their mommy but right now for the next several weeks I'm gonna let them you know grow and feed from their mom like they're supposed to so they can develop it right and um, wean them off afterwards once they're weaned they can go Um, on another note, I will have to, well, hopefully not have to, but I may be having to relocate within the, the next month or so, uh, due to some, um, unforeseen, uh, unfortunate circumstances, 
um, I won't get into here on public uh, forum but um I am looking for somewhere affordable near my work area my work area is in Glenola and but um, if any, of, any of my viewers know some place that I can afford um, under five hundred dollars I can't afford five hundred a month right now with the way things are going with you know, COVID being what it is and work hours being what they are the workload kind of winding down and drying up a little bit so yeah I won't be able to afford very much that's on the market right now so I'm kind of struggling to find things but um with that I'll kind of uh, segue into this week's discussion well you know what the pearlescent I thought I was looking at in here was actually the cream liqueur that's neat I'm gonna have some more of this this is really good I know I feel like ice cream and coffee would go really good with this um, I feel like sweets would go good with this it seems like kind of a desserty thing I don't know what kind of salty stuff might go with this so it's heavy and thick but in a good way uh oh wow I love that I really could drink that all day that is very pleasant for ten dollars too that's really good deal for me um Pardon me. Anyway, uh, back to what I was telling you earlier. So tomorrow, uh, according to the belief that I follow, it is Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, where we are commanded to afflict our souls. And to the basic understanding and knowledge we have, that means basically a, a fast of food and water and uh, maybe other things that you might kind of um, maybe take for granted sometimes like maybe if you play a lot of video games or is there other things that you enjoy a lot if you make yourself go without it for that day uh, kind of fast from it uh, is this also time of contemplating what um, Messiah Yahusha or Jesus Christ as a lot of you know him did for us um, when he um when he died for us because he he went through a lot for us to atone for our sins he was beaten and bruised and whipped humiliated and tortured basically for all of us hallelujah and amen and I'm so grateful for the sacrifice that our Father Yahuwah gave for us through His Son Yahusha. And I'm attached to this topic. Let's talk about being humble. What does it mean to be humble? Well, from the, the way I understand humility and being humble. For example, if you're in an argument, don't raise your voice. Don't do tit for tat. Don't don't seek revenge. Well, you said this and blah blah blah, so I'm gonna blah blah. Don't do that. That that's not humble. That personally is something I have to work on still there's a lot I have to work on with the, with the being humble department even um not yesterday but the day before yesterday I ended up in an argument with someone that I consider a friend and well 
I wasn't all as humble as what I should have been, and maybe that friendship might be in the rocks right now. So those of you that are so inclined, I do appreciate some prayers on it. Um, now, I did apologize for my part in it. That's, that does take humility to do, but as my beloved says, you know, sometimes when the damage is done, it's already done. Apologizing is not going to really do much of anything. But that being said, if ever you do something wrong, apologize anyway. Yes, it takes guts and courage and strength to do. It's humiliating. That's part of being humble, is allowing yourself to be humiliated when it's time. And that's what a lot of people not understanding. I still struggle with that myself. And that, that's the honest truth right there. You know, I struggle with that really hard. A lot of us do. We get stuck in our pride. So and so said this. So and so did that. I have to do this. I have to do that. I can't just take that. If I take that, that's going to let them think that they can do blah, 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 blah. Maybe. But at the end of the day, if a person brings you a gift no matter what that gift is they bring you a gift and in your humbleness you don't accept that gift then that gift still belongs to them so let's say that gift they're trying to give you is anger violence wrongdoing And you don't accept it well then it's still theirs but if you stoop down to their level you tit for tat back at them you say you both end up saying wrong words to each other and then it's both of you that are in the wrong instead of just one and then it's gonna create this cycle of people keep doing and keep doing and keep doing things back at each other because in both parties minds the other is at fault and that's going to bring us into our next part of being humble and, and humility is understanding learning to accept and admit you made a mistake and you did wrong you're the one that's wrong that also is something that I struggle with on a daily basis because I get so stuck on what I think is right I know I'm right because I know this and I know that and blah 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 sometimes I overlook things sometimes I forget things if you take a few moments calm down and assess the situation sometimes you might find you are wrong so you know me still learning things I've discovered you know sometimes it's best to let whoever it is say what they're gonna say take it take it sometimes you have to let them calm down after a while they've calmed down, try to approach gently and lovingly. You know? I'm not saying kiss up, there's a difference now. Just gently and lovingly try to talk it out. Uh, maybe it's like, hey, so this is the way I understand and see blah 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 and lay it out from my perspective a b and c and because of a b and c x y z sometimes uh, the person will listen sometimes will if they won't listen and they don't want to hear you don't force it there's daisy what are you doing daisy what are you doing daisy <laughs> This is all new for her. She's she's not had children before, so she's a brand new mommy. Ah. 
Oh, that's so good. I wonder what it tastes like cold. Um. Yeah, sometimes, you know, part of being humble is also giving out of the person space that they might need. So, being able to apologize, uh, being able to admit you were wrong about something, being able to take, you know, the verbal or emotional bruisings without lashing out, uh, being able to, you know, give a person their space and time. That's all part of being humble. Um, sometimes a part of being humble is, let, let's say you're on a team or you're in a group, right? And you're part of a project or whatever, or task to do something. Maybe someone else in the group is a, be it on purpose or accident, but somehow uh, takes the glory so to speak, take the credit. You know, we all did whatever together and they're to the boss person, well I did this and I did that and blah 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 blah, right? <laughs> now most of us, me included, could probably jump out, well I did blah 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 or we did blah 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 or some of you would even go, what do you mean you? blah 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 Humbleness in us would be just just take it and let it be and let it go. At the end of the day, the job was done, and Yahuwah, our God and Creator, knows the truth and knows what you did. And by letting credit and glory go letting the credit and glory go for that task in that day means you'll be given something even better later but for those that do seek for the attention and glory of man in that instant well they've already got their reward and you see how that works so yeah they've got their reward in that instant you're going to get a better one later if you just let it go I, I've struggled a long time with that one. <sighs> Humbleness comes in many different forms and varieties. There's different ways you can be humble. Y'all don't mind if I snack on a chip, do y'all? There's something special, just plain ripple potato chips. And being humble is a lot of work. It takes a lot of self-restraint. But at the end of the day, that takes a lot of strength. And like any kind of strength, strength has to be built up. And I'm just going to instantly have it. And building something up takes work and repetition, kind of like building your muscles. You have to build it up and build it up and build it up. Well, how do you build something up? You keep doing it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it. You keep trying. So you might have an issue snapping at people when you get angry instead of staying humble keep trying don't stop trying and don't make excuses for your failures own what you do that's the very first part of being humble owning what you did that's where you start I started noticing something even in myself When you start shutting down excuses to not be humble, you tend to start shutting down other excuses too for other things. It becomes easier and easier and easier. And 
And what's going to happen is, over time, you find it easier to let things go. You find it easier to admit your mistakes. It becomes easier to let other people have their glory. It becomes easier to be happy for other people's achievements instead of getting mad. Where's mine? What about me? Blah. It gets easier. And slowly but surely, I have been noticing that in my own self. You know, I, I'll have the little voice in my head. Well, you could just say blah, 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 blah. I'd shoo it away out of my mind. Or something will happen. So-and-so said blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And if I still get a little irritated, irked at first. Want to say something. Think of things I could say. Then I remember my place. And I shrug it off. And I move on. And then one thing that does happen. When you've started to get really good at being humble. Don't be that person that loses their humility and says, I'm the most humble person around. Well, that's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of defeating the whole thing, right? That's a joke, y'all, on me being silly. Anyway. Um... I forgot where I was going. Oh, that's so good. I know I said once you start being humble, something was going to happen. But I forgot what it was I was going to say. See, y'all, uh, this is what y'all are here to see, right? A drunken man loses marbles every time he drinks. Forget what he's saying. You don't want to see me babble about nothing and start slurring my speech. I don't know. What is it that y'all want to see? Y'all got to let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Um, I've been considering starting a separate gaming channel. The drunken hubby playing video games and stuff. I'm just not sure. Well, right now, at the moment, I kind of can't because of the limitations of my computer right now. I've got the RAM, I just don't have the other resources necessary to do it, for those of you that know about computer specs and all that. I really love that. Irish cream is so good. So let me know in the comments uh, what you would like to see, what more topics you'd want to hear me talk about. Um, if you do want to see me do some video game playthroughs, let me know what they are. It has to be for PC and for now, the time being, it has to be free. Uh, for those of you that are considering watching me do that. Um, uh, if you have some prayer requests, um, drop them in the comments as well. And just let me know. Alright, so thanks for tuning in. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye.